Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Becca. I'm a professional pet portrait and wildlife artist specialising in coloured pencils. Feels like literally ages since I've done a bit of an artist vlog. They're usually like a weekly artist vlog, however this one is about five or six weeks jam-packed into one. Um, so don't be filled, I've not done all this within a week, it's spread out over about five or six weeks. So yeah, there's bits of everything going on in this vlog. I go to Prague, I finally joined the gym. I talk about some of the latest exhibitions and work that I'm doing. I also give you a rundown of like how much work and what I actually do within a month and within a week. I also show you some of my latest commissions and what I'm getting up to on Patreon. So I've just finished, oh, <laughs> she just yawned and I put my hand in her mouth, good girl. I've just finished my last commission for this month so I thought I'd show you it just before I package it up. This one's going to America. Um, I send probably most of my portraits to America now, but here we go. <laughs> Another golden retriever. This is 16 by 20 inch, so this is the largest size portrait that I offer. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's uh, I always like doing large scale portraits because you can get like so much more detail in there. So yeah, I'm going to package this up and then get it sent off to America. So I'm currently in Prague, which is so random, but um, yeah, it's just been nice to get away for a few days. I'm back home tomorrow. Um, it's been really nice and sunny and warm, so that's been nice. Just been around exploring, shopping, you know, going around all the lovely buildings. Um, yeah, it's been really nice. So I'm back home on Friday, so I'm going to catch up with some Patreon work then.
So today is the 1st of June. I've just finished at the gym. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> but um, yeah, I joined the gym about a month ago. I think it's good just to, you know, get out and do some exercise, which I wasn't doing before. As it's the 1st of June today, I need to plan all my content for Patreon. Um, you know, what upcoming tutorials everyone wants to do. I always give my patrons some options so they can vote for which one they want to draw for this month's tutorial or next month's tutorial. Um, and I'm also open to any requests as well. So yeah, I need to sort all that out today. Oh, sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> um, I've also got to sort out my commissions for this month as well. Get all the paper cut down, get them all drawn out so they're ready to start. Um, I'm going to Barcelona at the end of this month, so I'm going to try and get everything pretty much finished before I go, just so I can spend that time just to relax and not really think about what I've got left to do when I come back. Other than that though, there's a lot of other little things going on. I've got like a to-do list that's down to the floor of little things to do, but do you know when you just get so caught up with everything else that you don't have time to do them little things, but then they all kind of mount up? So maybe today will be the day that I start to do some of them. <laughs> Um, because I need to but yeah before I pass out I'm going to drive home and yeah get started on some Patreon work and yeah I'm just going to do a bit of planning for this month really and just get myself organized a little bit so I've just come back from taking Bella for a walk and as it's the 1st of June, what I like to do, I'll just show you this actually. What I like to do is just, um, wow, it's bright. <laughs> is write out all the work that I've got to do for this particular month. Just seeing everything that I've got going on for that month all in one place without getting like overwhelmed. Um, so yeah, I've not finished everything for this month. Like I said, I've still got some, um, maybe one or two parts of my monkey tutorial to do. I'll just show you it actually while it's here. So this is the monkey tutorial that we've been working on um, for Patreon. But we've literally just got the tail, the feet, and then this little like stone bit that it's sitting on to do, and then it kind of fades off into the background. So maybe like, I don't know, two and a half hours, three hours left on this piece, and then it's done. So I'm probably gonna get that done tomorrow. Today, I just wanna organize myself. So what I'm gonna do is literally do the same thing that I've done here, but for this month, just so I can plan everything out, see it all in one place. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. People always ask me how long commissions take me to do, and I think people think I draw dogs every single day, all day, which is absolutely not the case. Although that would be great, but there's literally like a million other things to do so this month i feel like i've got like an important form or something um so i've got four commissions to do i've got a patreon welcome video to do which has been on my to-do list for the past like three months do you know when like loads of little things just keep building up and then you think oh i'll do that like it's not a priority but it does need to get done at some point but seeing as it's been on my to-do list for about three months i should really get it done <laughs> i've got two illustrations to do I think I might do another YouTube about that because I have been like dipping my toe into a bit of children's book illustrating, um, which I am really excited to show you if what I'm working on kind of goes through. Um, I've got my art business tips blog for Patreon to do. I always do an art business tips blog every month and I just talk about different ways you can like monetize, you know, your work, you can start your shop, how to start a shop. Um, how to go from like part-time to full-time, how to grow on social media, just loads of topics like that. I think they're really helpful for people, especially if, you know, you want this to be your full-time job. I always do two focus tutorials every month, a specific technique or something like that. I've also got a materials video to film. So that's like any studio equipment or new tools or anything that I recommend, I'll do a bit of like a review on it or anything that I've tried that's new that I've not used before. Then my in-depth tutorial, I do one every month, which is usually split into however many parts, however big it is. Sometimes it's like three parts, sometimes it's about nine parts, which is what this monkey's gonna be. Um, but yeah, again, I leave it up to my patrons what they want to do. I usually give them a choice between like four different reference photos. And I'll go with the most popular for that particular month's in-depth tutorial. Exhibitions and competitions, I also like to split it into different things rather than just having one massive list 
so I can kind of dip in and out of each one. Um, so another section is exhibitions and competitions. I want to submit to Sketch for Survival, which is an exhibition in London. Also the Coloured Pencil Society open exhibition, which I did last year. I actually got highly commended and People's Choice Award for that year. So thank you, you voted. And also my stag has been pre-selected for another exhibition in London, in Chelsea, um, which will take part in August. I just want to make sure everything's you know, perfect with that, it's all clean. I've got my certificate of authenticity on the back, I've got all the paperwork sorted, um, and then I've got to take that down to London mid-July and hopefully it gets through to the exhibition. So yeah, that's all my main monthly work. I've also got my weekly work, <laughs> which is my literal checklist again i just like to write everything down and just cross it out i think it's really satisfying just to give you a bit of an insight into what i do in a week so some of the little things that i've not yet got around to do that i need to do is um update my website update tutorials on my website update my instagram highlights on my normal one and my patreon one sort out my patreon instagram my patreon welcome video which is on there I need to find three new reference photos that I'm going to make into tutorials that people can buy through my website as well as just like an extra option. So if you want to just buy like more of a one-off tutorial rather than subscribing to Patreon, um, then you can do it through that as well. So I also need to do all of them at some point. Private Facebook page for Patreons, run an offer on my website shop and Etsy shop, um, mailing list marketing. Then obviously the competitions, uh, put latest drawings on my shop and I also need to set up the seven day free trial on Patreon. So Patreon have now made a feature where people can join your Patreon for a seven day free trial. Try all your tutorials or whatever they can jam pack into seven days and then hopefully they enjoy it that much that they want to subscribe at the end. Um, but obviously it gives people a bit more of a taster as to what they can expect from your Patreon if they do join up. So tomorrow I'm going to record parts eight and nine of the monkey, edit that, upload that. So yeah, that's just a bit of like an insight into what I do in a month, in a week. I'm going to go and get on with that now. Start sorting out all my commissions, getting them ready for this month. Um, also sorting out the Patreon stuff, getting organised with that. And tonight I'll be editing this very YouTube video. So I hope you enjoyed my artist vlog. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel to see more similar videos. Also, please comment below so if you enjoy these type of videos and I can do more of them. If you want more tutorials or top tips, that kind of thing, then also comment below um, so I know what kind of videos to make for you. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.